Here it is. Yeah. Here it comes. <gasps> Sorry, I know that you're hungry and you just want something nice to eat on the plane, but we only serve passengers who fly to the USA. So I know that you're at this McDonald's, you know, restaurant that's all across the planet and meant to serve everybody, but we're not going to serve you. How? How in the world did you manage to do this? Were you just driving in the air? Did you fall out the sky? How did you do this? To be honest, the only thing that can come to mind as to how this could have gone down is that he hit the telephone pole and somehow the telephone pole slipped through his already broken windshield. That's the only thing that kind of makes sense. Went under the porch to get decorations today. Turns out wasps have been squatting. You see? You see, every day, my wasp and hornet discrimination and bias is confirmed and validated. Every single day. I don't care how many comments I got in the last video about how wasps are necessary for the environment, how they take out pests. I don't care. You see this? These wasps ruined decorations. They ruined a holiday. That's my problem with these flying knives. They invade our spaces and impose their weird, creepy, violent lifestyles on us. I've read your comments. I've read the articles. I've educated myself about what they've done in nature. I don't care. They need to chill out. Was lying in bed when I heard a pop and shattering glass. Oh man, that can only mean two things. Either your glass table just exploded or your glass door on your shower just exploded. Yup. Ah, that is going to be expensive to replace and super difficult to clean up. It's not impossible, but it's about to feel super Sisyphusian. And we all know everybody's favorite thing about cleaning up glass is that sharp, painful, bottom of the foot reminder that you didn't do a good enough job. You get to step on glass for the next month because you keep thinking you cleaned it up well. Nope, lacerations. Started my third slice of Little Caesars at a staff meeting when I finally noticed this on number three. Oh my god. Looks like somebody got a gift from the fly gods. A little extra protein on your pepperoni. And I know for a fact, the most terrifying part of discovering this, you know, atrocity on your pizza slice was knowing that it absolutely was on the previous two slices. You ate fly babies, man. That's what you did. You can never uneat those. The craziest thing just happened. I saw a fire in a building and called 911. <laughs> but it turns out it was just a eight foot TV with a Yule log on it. So I ran down, I was like, this is what I saw. And they're like, yeah, bro, it was a, it was a Yule log. What are you doing? Courtesy of my cat this morning. Oh, that's so nice. Your cat is showing you so much affection by shitting on not one, but two toothbrushes that were left in that sink that morning. Wow. And if you guys could see it, it is nasty. It's the most thin, wet, curly pile on the planet. And it's on both both toothbrushes. Those toothbrushes need to be set on fire or maybe thrown into a volcano. These toothbrushes need to be erased from reality. Hey everyone, I am so excited to tell you that my school has a pool now. Take a look at that, right in the middle of the football field. You see, this is what happens when you give dogs medical licenses. How many other tools has this dog eaten during his work day at the hospital? In all seriousness, how does this happen? <laughs> how does a dog eat this without feeling any sort of discomfort? What could compel a living creature to do something like this? Hmm, I see. He has no brain cells. Look at him. You know his brain cells are silly. You know the neurons are goofy. You know for a fact he has no wrinkles on his noggin. No. Oh my god. Oh, it's all the cars to go over. What the f What happened? You didn't give us enough context, my man. It's just a mangled cell phone. 
the most mangled cell phone I've seen in a minute. It's just so grimy and warped. Ugh, it looks like it has untreated syphilis. It's that bad. What happened? How did the back get so demolished and ripped apart? Did you drag the phone behind your car? All right, let me give you a little bit of background. This young lady got her first car, a nice little Volkswagen. She's super happy about it, super ready to drive. And then this happened within an hour of her driving it. She somehow managed to completely total her car and cook it all at the same time. Within an hour of purchasing the vehicle. Just watched a girl spend all her money trying to buy one Gatorade. She tried knocking the first one only to get the other two stuck with it. <laughs> Please don't shake the machine. She was just trying to get a drink. She wasn't trying to steal. I seriously wonder who gets these drinks now because the system will show that at least one of them were paid for. Do they get all put back or do they just go to the person who fixes the machine? My niece is a dog walker and she had to send this message to her client today. Hey, just an FYI, when Olivia was using the bathroom on the walk, she pooped a tampon and I had to pull it out because it was stuck. Just wanted you to watch out for that in case she ate more than one. No worries. I really wonder what your niece prepares for when she, you know, enters and clocks in for work for dog walking. Does she anticipate having to save a dog from tampon constipation? Because I for sure would not anticipate that at all. At all. And I'm pretty sure the person who owns this dog uh, wasn't ready for that message either. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa, I wasn't ready for a crime scene. I wasn't ready to see a whole corpse on top of this stove, bro. What happened? Was the stove too hot for your Dutch oven, bro? That's crazy, man. You know for a fact that this was an Amazon purchase. Something about Amazon pots and pans just fail. For whatever reason, it doesn't even matter if you buy it from like a reputable brand. For whatever reason, Amazon pots and pans and plates and forks and knives, everything that you need to cook and eat with just falls apart within a year. Somebody ought to perform a study. Somebody needs to do some science, figure out what the statistics are. Why is this happening? We don't need more casualties like this. There was a hair in my microwave meal when I peeled back the lid. You see, I would be shocked if this wasn't consistently common. This happens all the time with any sort of prepackaged meal. The real question is whether or not this is a human hair. I was ditched the day of the concert. I got tickets a few months ago for my daughter and I to see this concert. The show is tonight. It's a three hour drive away, so I got a hotel for the night because it would be difficult for me to drive home afterwards. She was excited the whole time waiting for today, even when I got home early from work, until I told her what time we'd have to leave. Now she doesn't want to go so she can hang out with a friend. The hotel reservation isn't refundable, so selling the tickets and canceling the whole thing is pointless. So I'll be going alone. I'm very disappointed and sad. I really hope your daughter is a teenager who's just being really self-centered, who doesn't understand that you guys had a plan and that she should honor that, especially because you're her parent. I can understand a teenager operating that way, but an adult? No way. That is some foul behavior. That is not fair. Personally, if I was in this person's situation, I would go out of my way to have a ton of fun. I don't need a concert buddy. I would like to have a concert buddy, but I'm going to not waste this opportunity to have fun because you want to be selfish. My wife wanted her grays covered and subtle highlights for a wedding. Her hair colorist had a medical emergency during their session. Ooh, I guess you can't be mad about that. You can't be mad if your stylist has a heart attack you know, while doing your hair and now your hair is messed up. OP didn't go into detail about what happened during the medical emergency, but man, that leaves you no room to be upset. I guess it's time to wear a hat until, you know, she or he recovers from whatever happened. Let's hope they can recover, cause man, <laughs> finding a new stylist is difficult. It is not easy, especially if you built up a relationship with this person. It's not fun, it's not fun. But hey, at least you have some unique hair. You can try and sell it like this was on purpose. Like you were trying to go for something that was different, something unique, you know, silver lining. The landlord refloored the lobby in front of my wife's restaurant and now she can't open the front door. Reflooring is not cheap. Imagine spending all of that money and still messing up. Imagine doing such a terrible job to such an extent that somebody is practically trapped inside of their business because of your poor decision making. That's ridiculous. And you can't even really retaliate because if you go out of your way to scratch up the floor or try to, you know, force that door open, not only will you break your own door, but you're almost certainly gonna get kicked out of that building. So she's just stuck. She's just stuck with a broken door and an idiot for a landlord. 
What's up everyone, it's your boy Aileris, aka Panda Daddy, and I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, let me know in the comments down below, and leave a like if you liked the video. And if you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe, fam. What you doing watching videos and not subscribing? And if you're old, make sure you hit that bell so you can get these notifications every time. It is finally spooky month, it is finally October, so I think personally, you guys are overdue for a little spooky marathon. Go ahead and tell me what type of content that you want me to cover during this month that you think is spooky in the comments down below. I am open to all requests. We need to make this month as scary and spooky as possible. And to be honest, I wouldn't be able to do that without my Patreon supporters. So a big thank you to Zenith2A, Mr. Sandman, Mike, Sleepy Dragon, Power Lover, Sherry Morrison, Tron Destroy 23, Fitch Chivalry, Code Connor Purvis, S16, Squish, Rare Days, Mr. Bean, My Golden Experience, James Tucker, BMX30, Cinnamon Sticks, Scott, the Fake Musician, Buckethead, Samantha Bellhart, Admin Fanneker, Bloody Hunter, Keely, Dundernets Hawk, and Noah. Thank you so much for your support. It is greatly appreciated. And if you want to help support the channel, there's two links in the description. One to my merch store and one to my Patreon. Both funds go directly into the channel so we can maintain what's happening here. And as always, stay zesty.